Eric Mwada with Mwada.com with World Market Analysis for the weekend of January 7th and January 8th, 2017. Let's take a look at how, how Asian markets closed for Friday session. A little bit of a downdraft in Japan and in China. We can see Hong Kong was slightly up. Other markets were, let's call it a little bit to the upside. Take a look at European markets at the close of Friday session. We can see that markets close a little bit to the upside as far as the major averages are concerned. The FTSE, DAX, and the French market. Take a look at the Americas, and we see here that the Brazilian market is down about 0.589. Canadian market down about 0.53. U.S. markets up about 0.55 with about three hours to go before the close of U.S. markets. Let's take a look at those world charts. Let's begin by taking a look at the Australian market on the daily here. We can see that as long as the daily continues holding its daily RSI above 69.1, expect the market to be stable to bullish. Having said that, we've been watching here that on the weekly, the market still has a challenge in that on, on this two-year weekly chart, this is where it broke down in 2015 somewhere there so essentially what the RSI is doing is coming back to test this level and we're still trying to hold above that so resistance on this level here week to week especially if the market turns down around here and points down that would suggest that from current levels chances are the next potential swing trade is lower this is confirmed by the monthly chart on a long-term basis the Australian market on the monthly is coming back to test this topside resistance line. So we can see here month to month, this is a challenging area. Until the market can clear this level here, one can assume that this is where it stalls here. Not necessarily day to day, but month to month and week to week. So until we can clear that line, this becomes an area to watch. Chances are, at this rate, the next meaningful direction could actually be lower. If you take a look at China, we can see here that the Shanghai Stock Exchange held this RSI lows line. That's good support. As long as it's bouncing on this line, it should be stabilizing after a pullback over the last two months or so. We take a look at the daily, and we're going to see this across many markets. The daily chart is now back to resistance in that the market is coming back now to test the recent break. This break here brought the market lower so we take that information and draw our uniformity line so if the market confirms this as resistance day to day then we can see that the next swing trade here seems to be down as long as the market is being rejected on this line here so the pullback should be constructive if we get one because of the weekly chart and again that weekly chart shows very good support now that the market has come back to test this rsi lows line this line held as long as this market is holding this RSI line on the weekly, market should be stable. If you take a look at the Hong Kong market, we can see similar type analysis to that of the Chinese market. And it is this RSI support line, which came in play over the last two, three weeks. That was good enough to stop the recent pullback. The key is whether it can move its RSI and hold it back above RSI 50. If it can hold the RSI back above 50, that should be a stable market to bullish. And at the same time, we can see that just like we saw with the Chinese market, it is pretty much coming back to test the RSI break level. And on the daily, we can see that pretty much what's going on here is it's coming back to test this line. This RSI break in October brought the market lower. We haven't been back there. And it, what it is doing right now is coming back to test this level. The last time we hit that line, we saw a pullback. So it was here with uniform activity. There's your uniformity line being confirmed. That was a short term high. Here we had a double, double top towards early December. And we saw a pullback after that. Essentially what we are doing is coming back to test this line here. If we hold above that line, then that's good. That shows the bulls are in control. Otherwise, if we roll over and confirm this with uniform activity rejection, then we can see that the next potential swing trade is down. 
Don't forget that we are also coming back to test a declining 50-day moving average, which could also cause a problem. So visually, we need to be above this declining 50-day moving average. And we also need to be above this line of resistance. Otherwise, rejection on those two levels here on the 50-day moving average and rejection on this line might suggest that the next meaningful direction is lower. Otherwise, the month-to-month -month direction is going to be determined by whether the RSI can stay above RSI 50 on the monthly. If the RSI can stay above RSI level of 50, chances are the market is going to stabilize and maybe even move higher. But if it is rejected as it tries to move above 50, you can expect a little bit of a market that is going to be top heavy and struggle to move higher. So above 50 would be good for market bulls. If we take a look at the Japanese market, we can see that it made a higher high this past week on the daily. But you can see here that there was a slight negative divergence. Usually that tends to be the setup for a pullback. So we need to watch for a pullback here with that negative divergence that was confirmed towards the end of this last week. And keep in mind, if we take a look at the weekly, based off the, the break, in 2015 so this RSI break here is what so this break in 2015 off the highs there is what the market is doing its best to test so as long as the market is holding above this previous break line going back to these highs here with that break rejection on this line here which is this break as long as the market is bouncing on this line then we can assume that it continues to be stable. At the same time, if it finds itself back below that blue line, that would be the beginning of a, of a significant pullback. If we take a look at the monthly chart for the Japanese market, we can see that it needs to hold above this level on the monthly RSI. Otherwise, this could be a trap because of this coming back to test this break line. As you can see, once we broke down here, we came off the highs of 2015. Essentially, what we are doing is testing this level here. So month to month, if the market turns negative, so if the market turns negative here, confirms resistance there, that would be a major sell signal. In fact, if you test that level and go backwards in time, let's even go back this way. One can see that the biggest moves in the market, for example, this break in 96, led to a major bear market phase we came back and tested this same level here in early 2000 during the highs here the market was rejected with uniform activity and hence we had this major drop we broke below that same level here which also corresponded with this rsi break that break coincided with prices coming off the highs of 2007 and of course we went into a major bear market tailspin we can also see that the market's been acting well during the phase recently so once the market moved above that blue line you can see that the market's been trading well here in 2013 into 2015 what i'm getting at here is if we see rejection on this line that might be a sign that the next major major direction month to month maybe even over a period of years could be lower so this this is a critical level in my opinion as far as the japanese market is concerned failure to hold the monthly rsi above this level could be a major problem if we take a look at the nifty we can see that it is holding steady ever since it bounced off this line here as we had observed, this was what was being tested over the last couple of months. This was a nice entry. So we take that information in the RSI there. And the market did bounce on this line. Actually, what looks like a triple bottom support. So as long as this line is holding, one can expect the market to be stable. But on the daily, as we see in other markets, it's coming back and potentially the daily chart is showing potential for short-term resistance based on the recent break, that break in the RSI there. 
was good enough to bring the market off the highs. Of course, we haven't been back to those levels. So the sentiment is being tested. And you can see as of the close of Friday, looks like it is already showing that this is where it is stalling. So as long as this line is showing rejection, one can reasonably ex expect that the next meaningful direction could be for a pullback unless the market can clear this well-defined line of resistance right here. The key to the Nifty's direction month to month is how it responds to this RSI level here. If it can continue holding above RSI 50 on the monthly, that's generally good. Otherwise, if it slips and moves below RSI 50 on the monthly, that would suggest a major break and we can expect a significant pullback. So right now it's above 50, net net the market should be stable. We take a look at the South African market and just like we saw with other daily charts, seems like it is also coming back to test a recent break off the highs. This was the break right here in August off the highs there. And so we draw a line from there and we can see that this has been resistance during the highs of September right there. And now we are coming back to test this same line. Failure to move above this RSI level might suggest that the next meaningful swing trade is lower. Otherwise, if the market can trade above that line of resistance, then maybe now we can continue adding on to this current recovery leg. Otherwise, from my vantage point, looks like resistance until we can clear this line right there. Let's take a look at European markets and I'm going to use the Euronext 100 index which should cover markets like the French market, the German market and also the FTSE. So all this should be pretty much they have similar looking charts so I'm going to use the Euronext 100 and what we see with European markets most of them are trading with their daily RSI holding above 69.1. So one should not expect a major pullback as long as the daily RSI is above 69.1. If we take a look at the monthly chart, I believe we need to pay attention to this because if this thing turns down for the month, it would be confirming resistance on the monthly chart at a disturbing level. So we can see here this was the break. We can do this trend line break sometime in 2015 brought European markets off the highs there. And if we draw a line from that break level, you can see that this is an area to watch. The last time we hit that level and stalled was here in late 2015 for the highs there before we got this pullback. Now we are trying to work our way back in price. RSI is pretty much coming back to test the same line here. So if this becomes failure point, that might be a, a sign visually that the next major direction is lower. In fact, if we go back and test that level on the RSI, we come and hit this break line. That break was also what brought the market off the highs of 2007 before we went into this crash type bear market phase. So this is a critical level. Failure to move above that line right here could cause a major reason for markets to pull back and pull back SIG significantly. Pretty much the, the way to tell whether this is becoming resistance is how the monthly chart is responding. As long as the month is positive, the bulls are in control. But if it turns down and becomes negative for the month, that would be confirming this line of resistance. And that's the last thing the bulls want to see because this has been a problem going back many years. Let's take a look at the Canadian market. And here we can see that on the monthly chart, the Canadian market is doing its best to break out above the all-time monthly closing high. So let's take a look at that. That level to watch there is at 15, 625.73. So as long as it is failing to move above this previous I guess the current all-time monthly closing high, failure to break out does suggest that this market might run, run out of momentum. In fact, we can also see this on the weekly, which as of right now is doing its best to break out above the all-time weekly closing high. 
it so happened that it's the same price level of 15.625.73 so which is this weekly closing high right there the high for the week is above that just a tad bit actually not quite there so right now we can see this is a early signs of a failed breakout that might be a problem for the Canadian market and also we can see that if it stalls around here with its RSI week to week this would be confirmation of this resistance line which would be top side resistance line if the market stalls around here it's that's not a good sign what the bulls would like to see is the weekly RSI move above 69.1 otherwise rejection while trying to move above this level tends to be a bearish sign we can also see that on the daily the daily here is not as what you'd like to see reason being that we've made an improvement in day-to-day -day prices but we are seeing the first sign of a negative divergence that negative divergence will definitely cause a problem here in fact we can see this clearly on the hourly chart the hourly chart is problematic we had this improvement in hour to hour price closing highs but we can see here clearly we made a lower high on the RSI that negative divergence for the Canadian market sets the stage in my opinion for a pullback and let's conclude this video by taking a look at the Brazilian market daily keep in mind it's down on Friday and we can see here it makes sense that it is stalling around current levels because pretty much what it was doing was coming back to test the break this break was what brought the market off the highs of early November so off the highs there and pretty much was coming to test that level right now the market seems to be respecting that level and pulling back so let's draw that again there already the market is showing resistance so one can expect day today that the Brazilian market is due for continued pullback unless it moves above this line to the so another way of putting this is market bulls need to clear this resistance line otherwise we might continue seeing a continued pullback month to month the key is whether the the EWZ the ETF that tracks the Brazilian market here in the US whether it can stay above RSI 50 on the monthly as long as it is positive for the month and holding above RSI 50 that's good otherwise if it cracks and moves below RSI 50 anything below RSI 50 would be bearish so for now we can cl conclude that it is stable because it is holding above RSI 50 with a chance of continued pullback because of this RSI daily chart showing resistance in the here and now so many daily charts across the globe do seem like they're pointing to pull back day to day otherwise the major direction in these markets are going to be controlled by the monthly charts if we turn down for the month at some point be aware that might be a major sell signal worldwide Eric Mwadha with Mwadha.com. Otherwise, subscribers be on the lookout for part two of this weekend's market analysis video, which should have my most timely ideas. Peace and blessings. Woo! E-A-C-S.